Hey guys, got a couple new things in today. Thought I would take you into the Blockbuster corner here in my shop and show off a couple of the latest. So many of you probably have already seen pictures that I've posted. Um, today I've got some more horror in. Uh, kind of been getting into horror a lot more lately. And this was a treasure here. Found a really nice original copy of Trick or Treat. It's the U.S. release. Uh, to go along with my other releases here. Uh, of course, I can't play these on a U.S. V uh, VHS player. So they're primarily just for looks. But Palace Horror. I think it's from the U.K. And uh, I'd like to get a copy of Ragman. I think it's a possibly German release, maybe. I don't, I don't remember for sure, so don't quote me on that. But anyway, back in the day, that was a cool movie. I thought it was awesome, so I had to have a few copies of it. And uh, then you can see I've got some other stuff here that, you know, are pretty common. Picked up a House of a Thousand Corpses uh, sealed copy. Looks like it sold for $1.20 somewhere at some point. I don't remember what that sticker what store that is but anyway this movie um i liked it uh i know there was a lot of people critiquing it um i honestly think the clown sold it for me uh it was just a awesome intro to the movie when you turn it on and it starts playing and the clown comes out and he's telling you to pick one of the choices on the menu and all of that sort of thing i just thought it was thought it was pretty cool so anyway i'm working on the horror um you know Mostly just stuff that's common is okay for me right now. Uh, like Friday the 13th, I just picked up. Um, nothing super rare in here that I know of, but I, I did want to get a nice copy, and I paid up to get that on eBay, uh, but mostly because it's such a nice cardboard copy. And I've seen some, you know, this style on there. I think there's even some fakes running around, but... Uh, Anyway, that's some of today's finds. A um, couple more common movies that you may have seen. i uh, got a Police Academy. I picked it up sealed. Um, a guy had Purple Rain sealed. And believe it or not, even though I'm a Slayer fan, I like Prince. Um, you know, call me what you want. <laughs> I like what I like. Uh, Philadelphia Experiment. I believe I saw that on Cinemax back in the day. It was actually pretty cool. Um, movie not very well known the last starfighter uh, just watched that again and wasn't as good as i remembered it as a kid um, you know as a teenager sometimes things interest you that when you get older you're like yeah it's kind of stupid but uh i don't know maybe i'll watch it again and it might be cool who knows but anyway this is some of the other stuff close encounters long drawn out movie but pretty good if you haven't seen it, check it out. Some of these are stacked twice. You can see I've got doubles that I've picked up uh, when I buy lots and stuff like that. Um, so probably going to be trading and selling here before long. Got my Metallica, Cliff of All. That was some badass shit back in the day. Anyway, got my posters down here. One of these days I might hang all those up. Oh, and we got the children's over here. This is the stuff, it seems like people hate the Disney stuff. And I guess because there's so much of it out there. But I threw some on the shelf, did a children's section. Uh, got my Goonies and picked up my Garbage Pail Kids, which that movie is, I don't know what to describe that. It's its not horror, but it makes you feel horrible. <laughs> and I'm a big Garbage Pail kid, kid fan, so, you know. That's telling you something there. Got Donkey Kong Country. That's kind of cool. And believe it or not, I mean, I've got kids. We watched all the Toy Story movies, Cars, all that stuff back in the day. Those were good movies. Uh, probably after part two, I kind of slacked off on the Toy Stories. Shrek, that's another one. Those were good movies. Pretty entertaining. And it's sometimes better than, you know, real movies. Jumanji, I liked that back in the day, too. It's cool. My son's a big Roger Rabbit fan, so got a couple who framed Roger Rabbit in there, different versions. And if you're going to have a VHS collection, you almost need some standees. I've got a Chucky over there, got an Elvira, 
and I got a Gremlins. And uh, of course, I'm, I'm starting to add some other memorabilia, um, Back to the Future clock and proton packs and stuff like that. Got some posters up there and some movies I'd like somebody to buy. Some Power Rangers and Power Rangers. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the little quick tour. Like I said, this is just a small corner in my shop. Um, it's nothing amazing. I mean, it's just a, a pole barn building that I've painted section up, you know. Um, I figured if I'm going to have VHSs, why not go all out, you know, and deck it out. And we sit in here and we sometimes watch movies and stuff. And uh, if you want to see the rest of the shop, I'll take you over. Right across from the Blockbuster corner, I have some arcades. Then I've got my Garbage Pail Kid section over here. That's got, obviously, Garbage Pail Kids. Um, the Series 1 box is just a box because they're so expensive you can't afford to buy them. I do have them loose. Uh, all of the other boxes are pretty much full, and I'm working on collecting posters for each. Um, 3D print these and sell them online. I did a little custom Stomper Semi there. That's my bike parts I sell online. Got some Dukes of Hazard stuff. Uh, you know, it's just a small side collection, but it's uh, it's been fun. A little junkyard there I made. And used to be a Ray-Ban glasses display, and I converted it over. And then we've got the boombox section. That's pretty much most of the boomboxes that I own. Uh, there's a few Walkman up there if you look a little closer. And then we get into the Stompers. As you can see, I went pretty crazy. And... Uh, own way more stompers than one man needs but guys gotta live and have fun you know you only live once yolo some hot wheel stuff hot wheels were a big part of my life got some Mc mcdonald's memorabilia primarily uh based around stompers and bigfoot uh because they had them in happy meals and uh that's pretty much the shop in a nutshell got some cassettes down here Got a cabinet I just emptied out. I'm getting ready to do some more stuff in there. Some of my bikes. Just too much stuff. That's all it is. Just some guy in a garage with a bunch of junk. More cassettes. <laughs> Honestly, right now is the time to buy up the dead media, dead formats. You can pick it up cheap and, you know... There's not much of a market for it as far as selling, but it's got a lot of nostalgia there and a lot of uh, fun times involved in it, a lot of memories. So hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.